I respect getting the bag, but at the same time, shut up. I sent you the link. I just send it to you. Yeah, get your hand out of my face. <sighs> Is it just me, or did this not get my good side? You have a good side? We'll just take another one when I guess and Akutsuki san get back, alright? Yes, yes, we hear you. I could really get used to this worry free lifestyle. How about you, Koro chan? Are you excited for all this meat? Bro, Junpei said, Ah oh, man, and I don't think the scouts are my good side. And then I said, Yeah, but good side. <laughs> That's all I said. Hey, bro. Don't give the dog raw fish, you'll make him sick. Oh, sorry, Goro. I guess an Akutsuki san sure are running late. Just look at the time. Bro, really said, Did you just say hater mode? Nah, that shit is too. I'm gonna use that for real, even if you didn't just say that. That's <laughs> hater mode initiated. It's almost midnight. Activating hate nigger protocol. <laughs> the hell? Those guys in the suits transmogrified. <laughs> Dark hour still happening? Senpai, what's going on? I'm not sure. Guess I was right to have my doubts. Yeah, something didn't feel right. <sighs> Say what? Hey, do you hear that? It sounds like a bell, but where's it coming from? Where's Ikutsuki? And he hasn't even called. What could he be doing with Igis that's making him so late? Hmm. Mitsuru? Everyone, prepare to move out. We're heading for Tartarus. Um, to do what? I don't know, but that's where the sound is coming from. We have to find out what's going on. This nigga posted up. Ikutsuki san. I guess? What are you doing here? <sighs> I'm 
She's simply here to fulfill her role. As a weapon, that is. What? Kutsky son! What are you trying to pull? You said the Dark Hour and Tartarus would disappear if we defeated the Twelve Shadows. That's why we've been fighting this whole time. So why? What are you trying to accomplish? Destroying the Shadows, getting rid of the Dark Hour. It was all a lie, wasn't it? You've known since the beginning. Excellent deduction, Kirijo-kun. Unfortunately, you're too little too late. No. You tricked us? It's all going just as I planned. It's no accident that the Dark Hour and Tartarus continue to exist. I never intended for you to rid the world of them. Quite the opposite, in fact. What do you mean? The Twelve Shadows were parts of a whole. They were destined to be reunited. And thanks to your diligence, that destiny has been fulfilled. Death, the Almighty, shall soon arise and bring forth the fall. Death? What are you saying? Why would you want that? The end shall come and free this world from despair. It will be the death of everything, but also the beginning. What is he saying? Is he out of his mind? You see, I too was a scientist on the project ten years ago. The experiment did go awry, but that wasn't the reason the Dark Hour and Tartarus came to be. They manifested as a result of harvesting the Shadow's power, just as the experiment was designed to do. That's why your grandfather gathered so many Shadows. To initiate the fall. That can't be! Humanity has overrun this world, turning it into a barren void in the process. The only hope of salvation lies in ruin. According to the prophecy, the fall will be orchestrated by a prince. And once he has delivered us all, he shall rule the new world as king. The attempt years ago failed. But the time has come at last. I am that prince. This is insane. Are you serious with this shit? I do apologize for deceiving you. But all your hard work has paved the way for the future. Stay at my side for just a bit longer. And you too will find salvation. Find it how? By dying? I have a question for you. And what's that? In that video from my dad, he said the shadows had to be defeated. Was that a lie too? Ah, uh, that was in fact his recording. Of course I had to modify it to my specifications. You doctored it? Such an unsavory way to phrase it. Your father, Eiichiro Takeba, was a superb scientist. He didn't know me at the time, but I truly respected him. While others focused on the Shadow's abilities, his research led him somewhere far deeper. But unfortunately, he couldn't comprehend the magnificent potential of the fall. What? He left that recording at the expense of his life. So it seems. But it did come in quite handy. I'm sure he'd be happy knowing that. So you were behind it all? 
You used my dad. And me too. Used is such an ugly word. It had to be done for the sake of the world. Our job is to right the wrongs of the past. And we intend to do just that. Senpai, what are you... <sighs> I was hoping... But you are just kids, after all. Maybe my expectations were too high. I guess it's time you fulfilled your role. Capture them and prepare them for sacrifice. Understood. Energy output at maximum. I guess what's wrong? I guess please. Engaging. Oh, hell no. Nah. Bitch got us T posing for real. What's well, there's a reason why I I guess gets her own sequel episode. Uh she was able to beat all of C's, or at least knock them the fuck out, so Keep in mind, adding Fuka, that's eight niggas against one robot. Sorry, nine. Mithira's dad, too. They are our sacrifices. Harbingers of the fall. All the pieces are in place, and now the prophecy shall be fulfilled. What? Bastard! You're full of shit! My, my, how lively. I guess... Affirmative. Father! You traitor! Are you insane? Far from it. You know, your father was an unfortunate man. After all this time, even his own son can't comprehend his vision. My father was wrong. Death as deliverance is an ideology no one should ever embrace. Huh? Someone? Oh, hey. You've become nothing but a burden. I guess this man will be our first sacrifice. Now, deliver unto him. No, please, I guess don't. What are you doing, I guess? I. I. Fine, I'll do it myself. Wasted ten long years. I am not like your father. I won't make any exceptions. Holy sh... Father! Blast it! I guess... Execute the sacrifices now! I'm putting an end to this! I guess! Hey, come on! I know you wouldn't do this! Do it, I guess!
Oh. It was from her perspective the whole time. Oh. What the? I guess. What? Father. You good for nothing failure of a machine. I'll do it. <laughs> How am I doing? It's all over, Chairman. <laughs> you don't get it, do you? Why do you waste your time searching for a reason to live in this broken world? There's no point to it at all. The only possible way to fix this... As I was chosen, I'm going to be the god of the new world! <laughs> what a shame. I was so close. <laughs> How did it come to this? Ikutsuki san! I'm suffering, but emotionally, at least a little. Father. I'm glad that nigga killed himself. Don't take that out of context. Father. My father once made a promise. He swore he would atone for putting our generation in danger, even if it cost him his life. Surprise there. Ikus isn't here either. I just can't believe all this. It's in the papers, too. Kirijo Group CEO dies suddenly. They're blaming it on an illness, though. <sighs> yeah, it's never the truth. <sighs> nope. Just senpai is not here, huh? She's an only child, so there's a lot to be settled. Like the funeral and the family business. She'll probably have her hands full for at least a week. That sounds rough. I hope she'll be okay. So, what are we supposed to do now? <gasps> What'll happen to Chidori? Not a word yet. They're probably too busy to be thinking about that. 
In fact, the entire Kirijo group must be in a state of panic. I hope I guess is okay. Yeah. Man. I want to hear what they have to say, but they haven't made a peep. Supposed to just wait for them to get their act together? Mitsuru is meeting with the company execs. Might explain the delay. Yeah, but still, what are we going to do? We have no idea how to get rid of the Dark Hour. We don't even know who to fight now. He kept saying stuff about the fall. What would have happened if we were sacrificed? Unanswered questions. Yeah, but standing around here isn't gonna solve anything. True, but there is one thing we know Tartarus is still around and shadows are swarming the place. We should train so we're ready for whatever we might be up against. Right. All right, that's it for tonight. Try to get some rest, even if you can't sleep. Okay. Roger that. Oh, right! Yukari-chan! Hmm? What's this? A disc? Um, there were traces of a video on the chairman's PC. A lot was deleted, but I was able to restore some of it. And, well, I think it's something you need to see. Thanks, Spooka. I'll be sure to watch this later. Mm -hmm. Just don't forget! So it's just a normal DVD? Alright, let's see what's on here. Oh, there we go. I can only hope that this recording reaches someone with a conscience. Isn't this... that video? My employer has become obsessed with a loathsome idea. This experiment should never have been conceived. That's why I had to do something to put a stop to it. <laughs> However, in doing so, I released a number of shadows that are certain to torment future generations. But I didn't have a choice. If I didn't do this, it could have destroyed the entire world. Please, you need to listen very carefully. Whatever you do, it is imperative that you do not hunt the shadows that have dispersed. Uh-huh. This part's... I wasn't able to do anything to stop this madness. He won't listen to a word I say. He's been seduced by the devil's temptations. Those monsters will try to reunite and become one again. If they succeed, then we're all doomed. I'll say it once more. Do not go after the shadows that were released! And this is the original video. The real one. Before Gutsky went and tampered with it. Dad was trying to put a stop to the experiment. There's not much hope for me now. I have just one request. Whoever finds this, please give my daughter Yukari this message. I know I promised I'd be home soon. And I'm sorry to break that promise. But I want you to know... As your father, I was never happier in my life than when I was with you. This really is my dad. I love you, Yukari. Please. No, he's playing Pokemon Sudoku, essentially. Dad? Dad? <laughs> I know one thing for sure now. I was right to believe in you. I'm doing okay. It took a while, but I finally got your message.
fight for what I believe in. As I'm sure you are aware, you are currently in a dream. Now then, there has been a change in you recently. Have you noticed? I do not speak of your change in circumstances. I refer to the change in your mentality. That is why I have summoned you here tonight. Going forward, there is one thing. You mustn't forget. You do recognize it. I can see that. Shall I remind you of your commitment? I choose this fate of mine own free will. There is no need to worry. No matter which path you choose, I shall respect your decision. However, you alone must bear the responsibility for your action, no matter what sort of end they may bring about. Please, do keep that in mind. Well then, I bid you farewell. No. Yeah, Fury. <sighs> Sorry about not being able to visit lately. A lot's been going on. Hey, what's wrong? So, you...
worried about Takai and Jin, huh? I was planning on telling you. I get that they were your friends, but we had to fight them. Huh? Is that not it? I was right. This fear, this pain. Junpei. What? She was the bro. She was a part. She was a part of the ops, and she took her foolery off. No. She's. Can you? Can I explain, bro? Shut the fuck up. Okay, basically, we captured the enemy, who is this chick, and what happened was, all right, she's been in the stinking hospital for like two months and fully after she tried to nab Junpei and fucked up and failed. And now Junpei and her is starting a sort of will they, want they type beat there. She's no longer the op. She isn't a friend, but she's like Junpei's girl, Loki. There. In two years, what will you be doing? In two years? Uh, I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. Why do you ask? Oh, almost forgot to mention. I noticed you stopped. You know, hurting yourself. Huh? Oh. I guess. That's good. I mean, you have such beautiful hands. Uh, don't touch me! Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. This is too painful. It used to be fun when you came to visit. But now, it's different. Huh? It hurts inside. I can't breathe. I can't take this anymore. What do you mean? I don't understand. Did I do something wrong? Tell me what it is. Junpei, don't come here anymore. Chidori. But why?
good. I'm so lucky I get to eat such amazing food. Should I bring some home? If I do, I'd have to pay for it. Hmm. gonna be out of the hospital soon just when I was finally getting the hang of taking care of everyone myself and guess what else my teammates offered to help me with the kids too they even said they picked my sister up from preschool I guess everyone's been worried about me and there I was total tunnel vision trying to do everything on my own in the end maybe it was my fault the team couldn't work together Honestly, that's reassuring to hear from you. I feel a lot better about everything now that I know how everyone really feels. I'm having fun just running laps. My body feels light as a feather now. Oops, guess I kind of started rambling there. Sorry, but I gotta get going. Take it easy. And don't forget, I'm only able to focus on training again because you had my back. And I feel great. So, thanks, buddy. What happened? What the frick happened? What? <sighs> Trash clown. I see you back. Hey. You got bob bombs framed one, big bro. can't be out here By the way 
You know what? in there real quick. Welcome. What kind of flowers are you looking for today? Oh, um, they're for a girl who's in the hospital right now. Yeah, well, flowers, are they? In that case, how about these ones here? Mm, let's see. All right, uh, one of those. White flowers? Are you sure about that? Huh? What? Is, is that bad? Well, she likes the color white, so I figured... I'm sure it will be fine, as long as you have a reason. Okay, let me wrap it up for you. Uh, on second thought, I think I'll pass. Sorry for the trouble. Sorry for the pointless detail. Well, sorry for the pointless detour. Well, sorry for the pointless detour. It's just... Look, I don't really get it myself. Hey, wanna go sit somewhere for a bit? I don't feel like standing around and talking. So, the girl I'm visiting... I think I made her upset. I want to tell her I'm sorry, but... I don't even know what I did wrong. She told me not to come around anymore. What am I supposed to do? Time, huh? <laughs> Makes more sense than going to Sierra without a plan. It feels like I'm trapped in some kind of loop. You know, no matter how motivated I get, it's getting me nowhere. In that way since I played baseball. Those hero moments, or if I could just hit the ball. Man, I get so amped. Except I never once had to be the hero. Whew. 
Feels like I got a huge weight off my shoulders. Didn't think the day would come when I'd be talking to you about my problems, man. But I guess it's not really a secret that I got problems, huh? And besides, I kinda hate to admit it, but the answer you give is probably the right one. Ugh, crap, I'm losing my edge. I need something to get back in the groove. Let's get Katsudana with Katsu to wake us up. Oh, wait, do they even have Katsu down there? Hey, you zoning out over there? Having one big sale today. You can't find prices lower than here. Done already? Come again, yeah? Marvelous. I'm looking. Are you accepting a request? My apop. I will await, of course. I will await a report of success. Did you get gunned? Here are my requests. Very well. Brandon AO is trapped in his own domain expansion. No. No. a request let's hear the results oh my if I may I will await a report of success very well Accepting a request. Wonderful. Oh, my. Very well.
Bruh, are you good? Some stair laps over there. Oh, welcome back. Do you get going to gun? Good form there. I should get back to my run. See you later. Well, please tell me you fire like after it. That, oh no, that's so cringe. <laughs> of a story that I'm writing. He was born in a lush, green forest, but he turned out to be pink. He stands out so much that he can't hunt for food easily, so he's always hungry. The other animals dislike him and call him disgusting, almost like he's cursed. So he was used to living alone. But one day, he made a friend. It was a little bird that had trouble flying. Every day, the bird would stand on the pink alligator's back and practice. It's kind of embarrassing to tell you this. So, what do you think? Thirty percent. Go for it, big bro. Really? I've never written a story before, so I'm worried it's not going to be very good. But what matters is that I'm writing it for myself. Perhaps I can show you the entire novel someday. I actually came up with it the other day. I decided I wanted to write a heartwarming story just for myself. I'd like it to be a hopeful tale. About finding the meaning in one's life. I think of you when I write. It's like I can hear you telling me not to die just yet. The 
the wind is going to pick up soon. I can feel these kinds of things now. I hope I have enough time. We should leave. I'd like to see you again sometime. Oh no, are you getting gooned, homie? Not the gooned. <laughs> Eddie got bombed. Page out of your book and finesse my way in. Except these flowers don't really make me look cool at all. Maybe I should come bursting in with the whole bouquet. My spring break just ended. Yeah. The reason I was gooning all week this week, spring break. But it kinda doesn't matter because I only have 
two classes, uh, with one of them being every other week. So besides, so unless I'm working on an assignment or something, I'm basically at home all, almost all the time. Whether don't get gunned. Oh, hey, what's up? Oh my gosh, that is such a cute dog. You are so lucky. I'm not allowed to have pets at my place. Oh, wait, did you hear? Pause did it again. Seriously, how many times does it have to happen? This is exactly why his towels stink so bad. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry, I got in the way of your walk, didn't I? I should start heading home anyway. Oh, see you later, doggy. Makes it a hat trick. Go on, introduce yourself. My name's Ryoji Mochizuki. No, it's not the way I was flipping. I'd appreciate it if you could show me the ropes. Hey, he's kind of cute. I was thinking the same thing. Hey, not so loud. Nice to meet you. He was living overseas for a long time due to his parents' work, and that means he might not be familiar with all of our customs. Be sure to give him a hand if there's something he doesn't understand. Thanks. Now then, you need a seat. Let's see. That one's open. Up front, second from the left. Oh, um, Miss Toriyumi? That seat's taken. You don't show up, you lose your seat. Have I not been clear about this? Life God is damn. Of musical chairs. Let that be a lesson to the rest of you. Uh huh. Oh. Hey there. I'm sorry. I didn't catch your name. You are dangerous. Dangerous? I haven't even asked you out to dinner yet. Dinner? Huh. I guess, what's the matter? <laughs> uh, rejected right off the bat. You're one interesting girl. What the heck? Your teacher understands, I guess. You barely had time in the spotlight as the new kid, and now you have to share it. Except right now, you should be paying attention to me. Hey, is anyone even listening? <laughs> Pay close attention, all right? Mochizuki kid. Oh, I do. And please, call me Ryoji. Hey, do you have plans today? 
If not, maybe we can go somewhere for tea? Oh, Mochizuki-kun, sorry to interrupt, but could you stop by the faculty office? I'd like to give you a copy of the paperwork for your transfer. And let's see... Right, could you come along too? Right, could you come along too? Go ahead and take that home with you. That should just about do it. Thanks. Guess I'm done here then. See you tomorrow. Uh, sorry, hold on. Could you two take these boxes over to the music room? Yes. You know where the music room is, right? I think the boxes are full of sheet music. They're really heavy, so be careful not to hurt yourself. I signed for these packages on behalf of the music club, but I can't keep them here forever. That damn Ekota. I mean, that damn Ekota. D Mr. Ekota. Nagging me to get them out of here. Come on! We can't let the poor teacher carry all that herself. Let's help her out. Ooh, now that's what I like to hear, Mochizuki-kun. Why don't I bump both your composition grades up a little? Joking, of course. I wouldn't mind handling this by myself, but I did just transfer you. Do you think you could show me the way to the music room? Whew. I think that's all of it. That was harder than I expected, but the teacher needed our help, right? I gotta say, though, you are stronger than you look, huh? Do you work out or something? Oh, are you on a sports team? Like baseball or soccer? I think there's a track team, too. I'd like to join one, too, but I guess they're not recruiting right now. Oh, that's right. This caught my eye when we walked in. I noticed you're always wearing headphones. I take it you're really into music? How about I play you a song to break the ice between us? Sound good? Great! And here goes. you it might be a good way for us to hit it off there's so much that I'm not comfortable or familiar with so I want to keep learning and trying new things I heard you transferred here too back in spring seems like we have a thing or two in common you think we can be friends what do you say It does somehow feel like we've known each other for a long time already. So, uh, what are we supposed to do in this situation? Oh, right! I think we exchange phone numbers? Uh, sorry, I don't have my phone right now. Why don't you just give me your contact info? I'll note it down and get back to you later. Thanks. I'll be in touch. Looks like we still have some time before it gets dark. How about you show me around the school? Just whatever parts you're familiar with.
Junpei Kaisen? <laughs> what the fuck? Fuck is that? What? Junpei Kai. That that's what it works. Negatory. Bro, he is for real. Bro's about to take my fucking spot. My man is getting a, and he, bro, and he didn't even fail all of his exams like that. Uh, uh, he passed. Bro is gonna uh, usurp me. It's like I always say, C's get degrees. Nah, I'm not even joking for a road. Excuse me. Boyhood. Did you get gunned, big bro? He did. Oh no. Don't. Surprisingly big. Nigga, what the fuck? So I've decided that I'm going to study abroad. Oh, okay, bro. To be honest, I'm not really excited about it. But I already told my teacher I don't want to be a doctor, so do you want something to drink? Oh, I almost forgot. Did you want something cold or Hey! Look out! Hang in there. Can you hear me? You're awake. 
Oh, thank goodness. I kept calling your name, but you wouldn't wake up, so I... I don't see any cuts on your head, so I don't think you'll need stitches. Can you remember your name? <laughs> what if I just fuck? Like, That's wonderful what? to hear. Really, it's such a relief. <laughs> I want to fuck with this guy so bad. No, so aren't dilated, okay. so I don't think you have a concussion. I was worried that when you fell, you hit your head or your face, and I... Anyway, do you remember what happened? The box. I was the one who put it up there. We have a maid who cleans our house, so I don't do much cleaning myself. And I just got lazy and put it up there. It's all my fault. I'm so sorry. All I could think about was what would happen if you didn't wake up. I was so scared. I felt so helpless seeing my friend in trouble and not being able to do anything. I'm not a doctor. <sighs> when I was younger, my dad told me a sad story about how he lost a good friend. He just collapsed one day, even though they played together all the time. Seeing you lying there, I understood how my dad must have felt losing someone he was so close to. Do I want to be a doctor? But I'd be doing exactly what my dad wants. Uh, sorry, we should get going. Can you walk? Here, you can lean on me. Welcome back. Yes. I want to go to a bar called K Sarah Sarah. It's down this way. I was thinking of getting Mitsuru-san a gift, and uh, I heard I might be able to buy what I'm looking for at the bar. Hey, what's up with them? Who knows? What's a kid doing here? Mm, maybe it's too dangerous, but supposedly it's only open at night. Oh, okay. Hmm. Is it a bit mm -hmm. further down? <sighs> now there's little kids running around. Oh, it's become so wholesome. Here. Bedtime, little boy. Mommy is waiting for you. <laughs> no, it's fine. 
I'm totally okay. I don't want you to go out of your way for that. This looks like the place. The owner here is really particular about the taste of his drinks. They say he has ingredients you can't normally find, and for one of the cocktails he makes, he uses an extremely rare tea leaf. I borrowed a computer from Fuka-san and gathered some information. Misura-san seems to know her teas well, so I figured I shouldn't give her anything weird. I hope the bar owner is willing to share some of it, though. Well, he looks scary, but at least he agreed to sell it to us in the end. <laughs> Boy, I'm glad that worked out. I can't wait to give this to Mitsuru-san. With everything that happened, I'm sure she's been having a hard time. Oh. <laughs> it's sad and painful to be in a home knowing that you'll never see a loved one there with you again. So, I'm hoping this makes things more pleasant for her, at least while she's at the dorm. Although, it is Mitsuru-san we're talking about, so I'm sure she'll be fine. I just thought it would be nice if she was able to think about things over a delicious cup of tea. So... You really mean that? I was just... Thinking about when the same thing happened to me. So. Well, we should head back before it gets too late. Then I'll be shooting you. What the? I want. <sighs> nah, it's nothing. Thanks for joining me today, Senpai. And sorry for making you worry about all that stuff. We haven't really talked properly since what happened to Aragaki-san. I keep thinking about the last thing he said I to me. To I have to live for myself. But how exactly do I do that? I wasn't sure where to start. I've been trying all kinds of things. Things that the old me would have never considered. Like hanging out with my friends at school, reading manga, and even watching TV. I'm also trying to make an effort to talk to people in the dorm more. Mitsuru-san helped me with my homework the other day. And I even beat Junpei-san in a video game. <laughs> oh. I also ate snacks with Yukari-san and the others, and Aiga-san helped me feed hamburger. I realized that little things like this can really make life enjoyable. Well, that's what I've learned so far. ramen together again one of these days. It was so delicious the last time we had it. You know, I've noticed other people in the dorm talk about you a lot. Everyone seems to be really happy when they do, too. The hard battles continue, but we're still able to keep going. And it's because we all know when we come back, they'll always be there for us. explain it very well but I feel like you can see the real me I want to be more like you senpai I want to continue learning from your example that's okay right anyways sorry that all took so long the night air is getting chilly shall we go back home
Don't get fucked, homie. <laughs> Listen, it's either one or one hundred with weather. There's no balance. to not try and understand something. Anyways, I decided to start being serious about my future. Remember when I told you about what happened to me at school? It was when I handed in a blank answer sheet for that pop quiz and got yelled at by a coda. Back then, I just wanted to graduate and go to a community college or something. But after coaching those kids, I started to realize something. I enjoy helping people who are willing to give it their all. So, I finally figured out what I want to do with my life. Can you guess what it is? Hmm, close. You almost got it, Mr. Ex-Assistant Coach. I'm thinking of becoming an athletic trainer. It's their job to monitor each athlete's diet and help them plan their training routine. So I'll go to professional school once I graduate and then work towards earning my certification when I turn 20. Between the general education requirements and the classes for my major, it's going to be over 350 hours. <laughs>
still getting gooned. That's why I'm gonna start studying right now. Improving my writing is my first goal. It took me all night to finish that three-page essay. But those kids had a huge influence on me. I know I only agreed to coach them on a whim, but teaching them really made me think. I started wondering what I could teach my own kids one day, and I realized I didn't have the slightest clue. You hadn't been there with me. I don't think I could have stuck it out until the end. And I definitely never would have thought about my future either. So, thanks. Uh, also, I know I'm always so trash, yo. <laughs> yeah. I just I kind of feel my nigga is locked so, in a Suki Yomi for real. Really <laughs> How the fuck you got into a Genjutsu by the game, dog? That's crazy. Oh my gosh. Uh, My nigga is done, yo. He's going to die. <laughs> no, no, that, that can't be it, huh? <laughs> yeah, of course. My nigga is. Oh my god. You finally got the flash? Holy fuck. Oh my god, never play that game again. Never play that part of the game again. Oh my gosh, dude. Bro was in the trenches. Uh... I sure am lucky to have such a good flow sometimes. Nigga, you're fighting for your past reincarnations, dude. Oh my goodness. My man is struggling. Sorry. Um thank you again for coaching. Next time. If there's anything I can help with, just let me know, okay? We're friends, aren't we? My nigga ahead, is struggling. Uh, today. See ya. My nigga my dude was in the gulag for real. Ultimate difficulty, uh, <laughs> bro. Finally made it out. It's time for the come up. Finally. So, um, Whether is my man out of there, bro? Did you get him out? Did you have to pull him out, dude? Bro, Wither's still in there. That's why he's not responding, dog. Never touch that game again, dog. Oh my god. Big, Big bro was. Um. Big bro was out here fighting for his yeah. life. Luxor is actually not that good of a electric type, sadly. Um, you know I love that nigga. I am going to upgrade my outer appearance. First, I will triple the current surface area of my armor plating. After that, I will repaint my body gold and add a large dragon to my back. After reading this book, I came to a conclusion. This is what I have to do to appear strong 
and encourage people to depend on me. Outer appearances carry an influence that is beyond my ability to calculate. Your dog? Okay. The main character of this story also carefully cultivated his image. So Bitches and pussy will get you where you need to go, huh? <laughs> Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Uh... They do have the coup. Oh, God. <laughs> I am quite accurate in my statement. Yes, I know. That is why I'm looking into upgrading myself. In order for me to become more dependable, it's necessary I change my appearance. Don't you agree? So that's what takes priority? Oh, could if I apologize? Please forget what I said about upgrading my appearance. Listen, bro, after playing Final Fantasy the other night, I did learn a valuable lesson. Preventing the enemy from what they want to do is just as powerful as beating the shit out of them. At one point, the main character of the book says, Can't have people think I ain't cool. Until then, he'd put so much effort into his attire, yet he goes to raid his rival's territory wearing nothing but a shimekomi. Thanks to you, I finally understand what's most important in life is having a strong heart to stay true to your beliefs. Therefore, I will also follow what I believe in. I may not appear dependable, but don't worry. I will adjust my attitude to reach maximum energy output and to increase my ammo stocks by 50%. I guess. Damn, that's pretty good. For some reason, I feel like going to Tartarus and raising some hell. Shall we conduct a raid? This motherfucker Igus is so funny, yo. Oh, <laughs> like it's her and Jinpei. <laughs> oh, unfortunate. I'll just return to my room then. I'm, I'm thinking about the line of that ass better not crack. What did you say? And that's why. Uh, I think so. There's a Doug Duo isn't bad. He's he's just not amazing. He's kind of like I think his stats are like average. Yeah. From what I remember about bro, he's like a round average. Oh yeah, that motherfucker mid, uh, kinda. He has 110 attack and speed, but besides that, meh.
No one needs to stay off dick. My god. This was pretty obvious. Rats! Why are all of you trying to hang out? Persona now. Oh dang. I th hey there. Thanks. These motherfuckers wanna scrap. Alright gang, pull uh, up. It's nice to meet you. So you said you needed to talk to me? Yeah, keep your hands off our girlfriends. Hearing her talk about is Ryoji kun. Yeah, you need to stop talking to every girl you see. Oh, um, sorry. I actually have no idea which girls you're talking about. There's been too many that have come up to me. What? Is this a joke to you? I'm sorry if I offended you, but I haven't made any moves on anyone. I just invited them out for a bite to eat. That's exactly what we call making a move. That's a problem. I've made a promise to go out with them. I can't just cancel due to my inconvenience. C quit messing with us. Give me your phone. I'm going to delete all the contact info you have. None of your business. Are you taking his side? Hey, it's that guy from 2F. I heard he's friends with Sonata Senpai and the student council president. They live in the same dorm. What do we do? If he tells them, then. <laughs> Look, just stay the hell away from our girlfriends and delete them from your contacts. Got it? do it. Better watch out, or he'll steal your girlfriend, too. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't mean to make trouble for you. No. Considering how angry they were, I'd say I probably was at fault here. And from now on, I will ask if they have a boyfriend first, before inviting them out. Hey, thanks for having my back. You're very kind. What a great view. The ocean looks so beautiful. I do like seeing it from the monorail to school each morning, but it looks so different from up here. Hmm. I wonder why those guys were so mad. If you're in a relationship with someone, that means you like each other, right? I don't think me getting in the picture would change that, would it? I wonder what it means to like someone. Do you have someone like that? Wow, that must be nice. Is it anybody I know? I wonder what you two talk about. I guess there's still a lot that I don't understand. 
Look at the world out there. The people in this city, our classmates in school, and you. I want to know more about all of it. All right. Uh, since I dragged you into this mess today, let me make it up to you. I'll treat you to ramen. I just had some with Junpei Kun the other day. And while we're at it, maybe you can show me around town. I'd like to know what kind of places you like going to. I see you're back. morning. Damn. Completely ignored, yo. Bro, how would you feel if you asked somebody out and they didn't say shit? They just turned around and started walking away. Big Sag. I'm garbage. Yeah, I see my friends. Rock slap.
Yeah. So, uh, the big meet for that scholarship was yesterday. Are you seriously asking me that? I got first place, of course. Well, what'd you expect? But really, thanks. I guess this means it's really over. Running track, I mean, kind of makes me feel empty inside. I'm thinking of finding a job, actually. Not to sound dramatic, but... I want to do it to protect my family. I know where, too. My dad had connections at a car factory, so I'll apply there. Thing is, it's pretty far away. Go ahead and order extra noodles. It's on me. Yeah, eat as much as you want. You help me figure a bunch of things out, you know. I always blame school or my family for everything. I was using it as an escape from my own responsibilities. I really lucked out by meeting you. If I hadn't, I'd still be stuck in that same hole. And I'll never forget that. Well, I better start packing. Got a lot of goodbyes to get through and not enough time. We should grab a bite again after school soon. Who knows how many chances we'll get after this? Ramen's just too good to pass up, right? It's been a pleasure.
Hey there. Get a load of this. Much obliged. meetings I've been looking all over for you did someone ask you to come find me well yeah I'm not a member or anything but still oh, well sorry about that you've been pretty busy huh what with the class trip and all it's for both second and third years so I imagine you have your hands full too the class trip even if I did go I'd only spoil the fun Wait, you're not thinking of skipping the trip, are you? <sighs> you can't do that. That's not an option. Hmm? You know, I've been meaning to talk to you. About what? Well, honestly, you're not the easiest person to relate to, but I lost my dad too. And I know what that's like. Talk about... So I've decided I don't want our friendship to be over. I'm going to be more upfront with you from now on. <sighs> there she is. I've been looking everywhere for you. Uh huh? Ryoji kun? This nigga Ryoji. Huh? Weren't you looking for Miss President too? I was doing the same thing. Some guy asked me to find her. He said if I didn't, the class trip might get cancelled. Ugh, Oda Gary Kuhn. He'll hit up anyone in arm's reach for a favor. In any case, looks like I found you, Mitsuru Kirijo san. And I have to say, you're quite stunning. Maybe we could go out sometime? I know this place on the top floor of a five star hotel. The restaurant up there has a view of the city nightscape that's almost as breathtaking as you. Nightscape? Senpai, you better head back to the meeting. Oh, right. Damn. Talk about. Thank you for coming to find me. For now, I'd better see to my duties. Hey, she left without giving me an answer. The fuck are you talking about? Now, huh? I don't like the sound of that. Well, how about you, Yukari san? Care to join me for dinner? I know this place on Shirakawa Boulevard. Damn. Oh. Yeah, you deserved it, bro. Bro, I got kicked in the nuts, I think. Or at least hit. By the way.
about something I didn't understand in class. But then it led to even more questions, so <laughs> I was stuck there for a while. Ugh, this is so heavy. I shouldn't have crammed everything in there. No, oh, it's okay. I'll just think of it as weight training. Still, I can't believe how heavy these textbooks are. Students all over the world have it rough. Whenever I come to this field, I get so nostalgic. It hasn't even been that long since we coached those kids, though, huh? You said it. I had to really put my brains and body to work. I've never had to run around like that. Not even for the track team. Oh, that's right. Here, take this. It's from those kids. They told me to make sure I give it to him. I'll be sure to let the kids know you liked it. They'll be super happy to hear. When you get something like this, it makes you forget how tough it was in the moment. Kind of makes me want to do it all again. What about you? Me? Well, yeah, I guess I do want to. Next time we should get more people to help coach, though. It was pretty tough with just the two of us. Once I'm caught up on school, I'd like to take some time to think. Not just about coaching, but about enjoying life and stuff, too. <laughs> I can hardly wait. All right, time to study like hell. Oh, let me know when you figure out what you want to do for your future, too. Okay? If you decide on something similar, maybe we could even study together. I am thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the strength arcana hath been set free. What happened? How did you get going, Tommy? Now bestow upon me. The ultimate form of the strength within myself. Oh my gosh, that's too funny.
you. What a coincidence. I, uh, ran out of soy sauce, so... Oh, um, is that dog... Um... He doesn't bite, does he? I'm actually a little afraid of dogs. I was attacked by one when I was little. It only knocked me over, but ever since then... I... I'm still a little scared. Um, I'm sorry for taking up so much of your time. I'll see you at school then. to do it good good not bad thanks Bub I've been writing more of my story. How much did I tell you about? Oh, right. The pink alligator and the bird became friends, right? This was the alligator's first friend, and he was very happy. They started going to the river every day, and the alligator would listen to the little bird sing. But the pink alligator still had trouble hunting because of his color. He was so terribly easy to spot, and his prey always had plenty of time to escape. Eventually, he became so hungry that he grew dizzy. And one afternoon, he accidentally ate the bird as it slept in his mouth. Of course, he immediately realized what he'd done. He drank swamp water to vomit his friend back up. But it was too late. The bird was already dead. After that, he couldn't bring himself to eat anything. That's as far as I've written. I haven't decided on an ending yet. You really think so? Then maybe you'll enjoy the final product. I always thought the only thing I could give other people was hopelessness. But maybe... You know, when I mentioned I was writing a diary, that was a lie. I was writing my will. I couldn't face reality, 
and I was essentially screaming curses into my notebook. For now, though, I'm writing my story in the same notebook. It probably isn't very good, but it contains some things that I've learned during my short life. When it's done, I'd like you to be the first to read it. Meeting you is why I started writing it, you know. That's all right, okay. I've been trying to come up with a good ending, but I just can't decide, and I'm running out of time. I've got to go now, but I hope to see you again. Ew. Winning! data and my prediction suggests we haven't taken any specific measures against them what is the cause of this oh this is look I've sighted a ladybug larva it's very small and adorable to interrupt it while it's eating. Ladybugs are the natural predators of pests that damage plants. why there weren't any harmful insects around. Thank you very much, little ladybug. Even in just these tiny planters, there is so much life. There's no one to teach them. They're just doing the best they can. Hmm. My apologies. I got distracted. Let's keep working. Excuse me. Please apply the repellent on that end. Tests deserve no mercy. Damn. Status reads all green. No problems to report. That concludes our mission for today. We should head back now.
Hey, listen. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Come on, man. Oh, no. Nah. You switching to who? Okay. Oh, no. So I guess you're just dead, buddy. You think so?
Kyoto, huh? That's so cliche. Huh? You're not a fan? I'd say it's a beautiful city to make some good memories in while we're still young. Man, is that really the first thing you think? It makes you sound like an old geezer when you say that kind of stuff. It does? <sighs> Thank goodness. She actually made it. Hey, what's that umbrella for? I get the feeling it's for good luck, you know? So, which way to the geishas? Think we can ask them to put on a show? Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Hope it's not too pricey. <laughs> Keep dreaming, Junpei. Outside is filled with water. Is this one of those open air hot springs I've heard about? Right, this is the courtyard. Wanna go out for a walk later, I guess? Sorry, Oji. Where was your old school planning to go for their trip? Probably somewhere cool like another country, I bet. Yoto's so typical, don't you think? Hmm? Me? A trip. Hmm. Did we even have one? How do you not know? That's an event most people tend to remember. It is? All right, you can all chat later. You're blocking the hallway. Girls, your rooms are that way. Go on and get yourselves unpacked. You heard her. We'll see you later then. Yeah, we'll see you later, dude. Yes, I shall see you later, Yukari-san. Oh my gosh, yo. Yeah. Okay, 
enough of this. I guess you're with us. Junpei, guy's room. Man. Man. <sighs> I, that's so funny. Tried my hand at sneaking out, but still got cut. Well, guess we had to head to our room now. Come on, let's hustle. Or else Miss Toriyumi might get pissed at us. Come on in. Anything can. Much appreciated. What's up? Check this out. The hot spring's over there, right? Now, if you consider how the garden is fenced. You seriously trying to peep? You do know you can get arrested for that, right? Of course not. I'm not stupid. Just imagine the steamy paradise beyond the garden fence. Close your eyes and focus. Then you'll see everything inside your mind. Give it up, you idiot. No way you can see a damn thing like that. Give up? Never! Nothing is impossible. And you call yourself an athlete? Where's your spirit? You're the only one holding yourself back. You gotta push your limits to succeed. What? I never thought I'd see the day you'd teach me something about sportsmanship. You're right. I'm not gonna give up. I'll never give up. So, how's it going over there, Miyamoto? I can't see a thing, man. It's just pitch black. I wonder if it's all the steep. <laughs> What's up? <sighs> hey there. Hey, what's up? Uh huh. Honestly, staying at an inn like this doesn't feel much different from our everyday dorm life. I think I'll just head to bed. Hopefully my run tomorrow proves to be more exciting. Even though we were just on a train the whole day, I'm feeling pretty tired. But you know what? I've been totally psyched for this trip. I want to sample the local food, hit the hot springs, shop for souvenirs. Oh, and I'm a pro at pillow fights. I sling them so fast they'll never see it coming.
Hello. Are you on patrol as well? Just kidding. I plan on enjoying myself on this trip. I only hope there won't be any trouble while... Hey there, Odagiri-kun. Have you tried these complimentary snacks? Ah, they're so tasty. No, I haven't had the chance. To... There's nothing left. Aren't those snacks supposed to be limited to one per person? Oh, really? Oops, I ate them all. Sorry. <sighs> I figured. I'll just pretend there weren't any in the first place. Sorry, Odagiri-kun. I'll check out the gift shop later to see if they'll have more snacks there. N no need. It's not like I wanted to try some or anything. You might die, homie. Those bitches are tricky. To know more about the trip, you can find the details in the itinerary over there. Maybe.